Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm going to explain some things about the PCB milling machine today. Uh, so first, we'll go over the different parts of the system. Um, so right here is the centerpiece of the system. It's the uh, circuit board milling machine. Um, it's got a three-axis um, CNC on here with the drill um, spindle that goes up to 60,000 RPM. Uh, it's got a vacuum table here that has four zones, and it's controlled by the front panel here to enable or disable vacuum on different parts of the vacuum table. Uh, that's basically to hold down uh, thin films, such as uh, polyamide films for soldering stencils. Um, but you can really, and also flex circuits too. Um, over here we have a tool change pod, which is used for uh, automating the process of the milling machine. Um, so there's actually four different tools, which I'll go over later. But these tools, tool pods allow you to insert tools in there and automate the entire milling and drilling operation for your board. Uh, next, we have a computer here that runs the main software that drives the machine. Uh, the software is used to take in your Gerber files and drill files from your um, circuit board software and then post-process it um, and isolate traces in the software, essentially taking the, the different tools that you have and to mill on your board and drill your board and make sure that the, the software is able to understand uh, how it needs to drive the machine to affect your circuit. Um, the materials that you use for the machine, aside from tooling, uh, this is a vacuum backup material board. It's got vacuum holes in it that allow the vacuum on the vacuum table to um, essentially vacuum your circuit board material onto this surface. Then here we have a copper clad board. This, is, this board in particular is a 59 mil thick um, single sided copper clad here. So you have a copper layer here and you have uh, blank layer here. This is great for single sided boards because then you don't have to do anything on this side. All you have to do is just mill on one side and you're done. Uh, there are two layer or two sided boards as well and those have copper at the top and bottom and uh, those are more useful for more complicated circuits. Another major piece is the air compressor. So that there is a 13 gallon uh, air compressor there. Um, and essentially that's important for running all the mechanical parts in the milling machine. So before we start um, the machine, you always have to check the oil levels on that machine and also um, turn on the machine if, uh, and see if everything's working good. 